One of the things we're going to talk about with video today is so we're also going to talk about how to make it compatible for all the devices that are out there. So the next big thing, well in the coming years we'll see the rise of dynamic, engaging, and easy to use communication platforms. Do you think that's where we're going? Yes? yes? Say it out loud. Shout yes. out. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. I told you, only child. <laughs> so, but the question I have is where? And one of the things I want you to think about today is how about your website? Why are we all relying so much on everyone else's social technologies and having conversations off our websites when one of the things we could start thinking about is integrating them into our actual website? So this is where we're going to be going with today's conversation. So one of the things I want you to start to think about is, and this is probably one of my favorite social media writers. Um, he's called David Merriman Scott. He's actually from this area of the country. I absolutely love him. But one of the things you have to start thinking about is you have to start thinking about is your website needs to start being a destination. And it's not just a link within a Twitter feed or on a Facebook page. Um, it's funny because I actually just did a, se a seminar for BOMA and what was really interesting is that someone came up to me and said, pretty soon I won't even need a website. And of course, you know, the, my gut reaction is I make websites, so I don't want to see them go away, but one of the comments that you always have to remember is that all of these tools that are off of your website, they can all change the rules. So one of the things I really want you to start thinking about now is how do we take all of that and leverage it and bring it in closer to our audience and our websites. This is actually um, from eMarketer. Does anyone read eMarketer? If you're not familiar with this, this is great. This actually came out three days ago. But one of the things that I wanted to point out is this article was all about the marketing channels for small businesses, not the bigger businesses. We're not Anheuser-Busch. We're not Coca-Cola. So what works for us? You know, we're a 10 person firm. We can't do it all. If you're a 10, 20, 30 person firm, you can't do everything. And one of the things that I loved about this is if you notice, the things that they said that have been really effective have been their websites. Websites are in the top two, and social media, it's here, but it's actually more in the bottom. We're going to keep going with trying to use those tools, and as you can see, using what is already working for you. I want you to go back to the basics. And it's really important that we start to think about who is your customer? What are they using? And this is a screen grab of two of my clients giving video testimonials. And I think it's important that you understand not only who they are individually, but you need to look at some of these questions like, what do they care about when they're online? And when they're online, what are they looking for? How much time are they spending using social media? Which tools do they use and why? What is he doing when he's online? Is your customer, when they're online looking for your products or services, are they doing informational research? Are they having conversations? Are they going to uh, Facebook and asking a friend for a referral? With doctors nowadays, you actually see people, if I move to a new location and I don't have a friend there, where do I turn? I turn to places like Angie's List or Yelp for those kinds of reviews because I don't have a local friend in that area. One of the other things I want to point out is we also need to think a little bit about is social integration. And what I mean by this is when we're a company, we have to start thinking about what the company's core policies are. You have to start asking yourself whether you're a two-person company or a 20-person company or a 100-person company, do you have a social media policy? Are you allowing your employees to add that they work for you on their Facebook profiles? Are they allowed to do this on LinkedIn? You really want to do these things. We've actually had with clients where they're in their um, employee manuals, they actually say within 60 days of leaving that company, they have to change their LinkedIn profile. And I know these things seem silly to you, but they also are very much part of your social reputation. 